Yes, it is Persona. Yes, you will be spoiled if you do not know what happens. So, you know, if you want to play it for yourself, I recommend doing that first or seeing, you know, footage online. But hey, thanks for being here. Let's see. Six eighteen. I don't think I. It's evening. Okay. Alright. Can't leave Lamont, so we're going to just study on him. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. me yesterday I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with what are you talking about nothing just start it up Yusuke oh, please. okay I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav and just as expected it's a hit all we need now are the two other keywords what he thinks of as his palace and where it is but we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here <sighs> We'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Oh. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Love you too, honey. I see. Shoot. Wrong, wrong button. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on. How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Results found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like... The entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. <laughs> Those walking ATMs. 
That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's got to be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. Hey! That person, person traveling over there, do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. Uh, do these guys even have mouths? Excuse me, can we... Please forgive me. What happened? I don't have it anymore. Please, I'm telling you. Not even one yen. Come on, man. Cool it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? <sighs> There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Perhaps are those? No. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Joker. Okay. Do you think that person's a victim too? Hey. Excuse me, can we have a word? We are. It's not. It's no use. It's all over. Oh, I'm just like them. Where's Kanashiro? Where else? A place where he lives leaves no tracks. Not that knowing where it is will help you. What do you mean? What could that mean? Hey, you gotta let us a little more. I'm too tired. Please, let me rest. Doesn't look like this one's going to say anything. Kanashiro leaves no tracks. Does he mean that literally, or could it be figurative? Hey. Hey, why don't we go over all the intel we have now? Hmm. They have apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second. They've fallen from a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks? Does that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere up high? Uh. You what you mean, like a skyscraper? Uh, there ain't any of those around here, I don't think. No. What's that? Is that it? Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. <sighs> we gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. You free? Uh, I'm busy. You've at least got some time to read these text messages, don't you? It's about that kind of Shiro guy. He's more dangerous than I thought. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little deeper. Turns out, he has some real shady connections. I won't say any more than that. Shady connections? He's not someone a teenager like you should mess with. Like you should mess with. You should really back off, okay? 
Well, that's all I wanted to say. See ya. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Leave a bomb, but what else should I be? I guess revive a drum. Seems hey, hey. pretty important. Oh, I don't have any yet. Mm. Now, what do you want to do? Make sure you close up. thinking lately about those phantom thieves I mean if dad were still alive sorry I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating it's okay keep going I just wonder if he would have been on their side that's all the only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else that's not you don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. <sighs> I just remembered. This is it. We ain't got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? <laughs> so you wish to get in contact with Konoshiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. And that's the only way. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly! So, you're just the good girl type that I push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. We're never gonna find her. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? 
She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shuzhen Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills have come in handy. Ah, shit, he ignored me! Damn it, I said stop! Ryuji! Hurry up and get in! So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? But well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. drag you in like this <laughs> for real I was stupid I must agree you should have easily imagined this happening hey Yusuke I was so caught up in trying to be useful all right enough of the blame game what's done is done I'm gonna cause trouble for sis too sis my older sister has a commendable job and she's a much more remarkable person than me a lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And 
That's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kaneshiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice. Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air! Th this is reality? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. Reality that one's heart shows. I is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? Oh, that's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? Well, we're about the same! Bullshit. Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then.
If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. It's just as I calculated. We're customers too now. Like, not just her. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. Mm. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Come on, let's go. Shall we go? What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Shiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. This way. Reception is to the right, towards the back. I wish I my life that you do not attempt to go elsewhere. Just past this door. Just to the right. Don't go anywhere else. Incredible. Oh. How many beef bowls could I eat with this? Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? No, a loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. 10% interest a day? Um, uh, that means uh, one day is... 300, it's 300,000 yen. Yeah. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight. Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! The young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kanashiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. 
My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Let's go. Persona! security guards turn into monsters and what were those supernatural powers could those have been the personas you mentioned does now really look like the time to be asking that we need to retreat makoto make sure you don't get separated from us hurry joker the exit's just over there You seem to be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough as it is. So, it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. 
They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! Huh? Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell?! No, dude. That's a bike. I can feel it. Myself. Me. Got it! Wow! Nice! What is that? I've never seen anything like it. You better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you! I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Persona! Charge, Johanna! Nice! The enemy's down! Looks like it's yeah, not over yet! Persona! Meridor! Go down! Oh, okay. Let's go! Okay. Well then. Persona! Thank you. Persona! Go down. You Let's go. Ready! 
Objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? Do you want to get smacked? Thank you. I'm going on ahead, so follow me. <laughs> me no matter what very well I'll wait for you all there's no escape in reality nor will you break through the security system here it doesn't matter what you do you can kiss your bright futures goodbye No Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. Feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the phantom thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but there are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We've needed somebody who's we actually smart. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Damn, motorcycles are cool. I wish my persona was like that. Yours is on a ship, though. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. It'll be just like the song. I'm a phantom on a, on a steel horse I ride. Don't say such things. For the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all. Nijima son. Nijima senpai from that one. Do you, have, do you got a license? A regular one, yes. Nice! I, I can't wait to get my hands on one too! That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry, everyone. I 
I know I'm not in any position to be saying that. I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your two intentions in this. If only I could have realized what was happening to Suzuki-san too. Come on, we don't need to talk about that now. It seems there are still lingering issues on everyone's minds. Now's, the now's not the time to be talking about that shit, though. Don't we gotta be doing something about Kanashiro? He's right. Very well, I understand. Anyway, I'll be I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago, but Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Nice! Okay. Cycle shaped persona, huh? You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's like I feel a sense of familiarity. Maybe you're a persona. Uh, no, I'm supposed to be human. Yeah, sure. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. I really am special after all. just crossed my mind and it's no use I can't remember at all <sighs> eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now unlike you guys Makoto's clever so we can expect great things from her but man you really do have something special uh, it was a coincidence Looks like I better step up my game, too. Alright. Thank God we have kitty talk. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos, too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Hello? Ugh. We got Yusuke. And now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? Nah, that can't be. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Though it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway... Um... I wanted to apologize. I'm... Really sorry. For everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. Kamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me. And I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt. So I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm... very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. 
It felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah. I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? I realize this is a mite light, but how shall I refer to you, Nijima-san? I believe some courtesy should be known, shown to those who are our senior. Oh yeah, should we call you Nijima-san or like Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal, just treat me the same way you would anyone else. We're on. Ain't that too formal? I already just call her by name. For real? Did something happen? That's a secret between us girls. Damn it. This sounds like fun. All of you may call me by my first name. No need to hesitate. Very well. I should do this. I shall do just that. Hey, are you listening? Tiki. just going to be another back and forth as usual. Or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. I've been making you listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately, so I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. I thought I'd get a surprise for you since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time go ahead enjoy oh this looks great go on don't be shy i've got enough for seconds too oh yes i know uh, as long as you're talking about cookies they actually reminded me about the psychological experiment the scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the other one was filled with cookies, ten of them. So then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked about their tastes afterward. 
at how their tastes compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? I, I'd say it was a tie. I see. I see. You're a rationalist, aren't you? Unfortunately, the truth is that they preferred the isolated single cookie. There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from about the name. Um, people are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. No, you're right. <laughs> I know, right? Don't you think it's really fascinating? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perception can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie? I mean, hey, as long as it tastes good. That's definitely not the usual response, but it's one I can understand. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me maybe the human heart can falter or can be unreliable sometimes but if this experiment proves anything it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy for example take that story i just told you what if you'd eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life say I never revealed the trick behind it, that cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. I guess so. Right? I'm glad to hear you say that. Basically, what I wanted to say was, if this idea of preconception could be studied further, and actually applied to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people. Maybe even more than I could help through counseling. Then again, it relies so heavily on perspective. Some people might call it a lie or see it as running from problems. Still, even if that's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. Sorry. Uh, yikes, I'm so sorry. We wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. Whenever I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. I truly am grateful for everything you've done. Not just because I can get your opinion on these things, either. It's more like, it's as if I'm talking to an old friend. Uh, but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So, so we say, anyway. <laughs> all right. Now then, I better show you another way to mentally train yourself. Well, see you. Oh, this is Maroki. Sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic con discussion. Eh, I really don't mind. You're always so kind. You might be a better counselor than I am. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oops, uh, sorry, there I go rambling again, sorry, sorry. Uh, Alright, uh, see you again soon. Rain, huh? Hmm. Uh, 
there has been no sign yet of Kaneshiro acting on his threat. He probably thinks his money is just gonna come rolling in. He does have the upper hand on us, after all. If that picture got out, who knows what would end up happening to Reginald. Guess worst case scenario would be he get expelled. No, there is more serious. There is a more serious alternative. He's currently under probation, meaning I'm so sorry. This whole situation is my fault. Come on, stop that. I mean, you're the one who's in the most trouble right now. My sister is a prosecutor. This will surely be a problem for her as well. What should I do? Kanashiro should surely be must surely be taking that aspect into account too. Well, change is hard. For sure. Even the police are having trouble with that bastard. We'll be heroes if we catch him. High risk, high reward. You're all so positive. Hmm. In a way, your recklessness is the only reason we can, we are now able to pursue his, this change of heart. Totally. We're in deep shit, so we're gonna do whatever we can to get out of it. I never thought of things in that way before. It is quite strange hearing something so positive from Ryuji. Shut up! Alright, leader. We can decide when we meet up. When your position changes, your view of the world changes too. It's a shift in cognition. In any case, we're in big trouble if we can't change Kaneshiro's heart. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's go buy some suitors. Oh. Alright, let's see. Sure, books are available now. Please take your time. Cool. <laughs> did I ever watch a DVD? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> Really need kindness right now. Oh, we have welcome. Meta, mega, mega. Oh, those are bionutrients. Um, hmm. Herm. Yeah, never mind. Let's go play some billiards. What you mean? Huh? Then nice. You did it. I knew you could do it. I see.
Good morning. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. That floating bank really reflects Kanashiro's personality. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. He doesn't trust anyone. I bet security's tighten there too. That's why we should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? Let me think about it. Understood. I'm sure you have your reasons as the leader. I'll leave my schedule open after school, so talk to me anytime. Kara, you okay? Has Shai... Has Kanashiro threatened you or anything? He's been demanding money, but I choose to ignore the, those messages. Is that okay? Have any scary men shown up at your house? No. Kanashiro still has the photographs in his possession, remember? Perhaps that advantage is why he doesn't feel any urgency to act. So do you think we're safe for now, then? wrong. Just like Yusuke said, those pictures are bad news for us. We will need to change Kanashiro's heart as soon as possible. Agreed. I will do everything I can to help. See, um, I'm not wrong because, um, I know that this is a game, but, so... I like meet around here, so I come pretty often. But all the people are just such a pain. Who gives them the right to be here? Anyway, let's get through quickly so we don't get caught by the salespeople. <sighs> I never sold out all the clothes I wanted. In any case, there are so many different types of people here. It's fun just watching them. People might think I'm weird if they see me staring at them alone. But I'm sure it's fine as long as I'm with them. Glad you're here. Being my by myself in a crowd just makes me feel even lonelier. I mean, things are half as fun, and you don't have anyone to share with that fun with, right? Hey. I wonder what all these people are thinking about right now. Some of them might even be sad beneath those happy exteriors, and we never even know. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't you get fired up when you're thinking about helping them out? Oh, um, never mind. That's not what we were talking about. Ooh, that couple's in a big fight. The girlfriend's totally going for the knockout punch. Oh yeah. Hey, they were handing this out, so I took it. Are you interested in stuff? I can have it. You can have it if you want. She said he's gonna go drinking at that Monia restaurant. You'll go with me to help investigate Uncover, right? Undercover, right? Spawn later. Oh? Alright, we have hey, cross hey. to do.
Oh. I forgot that All right, did that. It would be over. Oh well. Is the mega fertilizer available? Oh! What would you like? No. Okay. Sounds like that. Oh, it's in Shinuku. That would explain why I couldn't find it. What would you like? Teachers who's with him has shit on me too. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay hold up in the bathroom. Please, just leave your phone on so I can hear what they're saying. Wow, you really hold your liquor, Yamauchi. Hmm, I've had some experience. Back in my college days, we'd rent a yacht for the weekend and have massive parties. I must say though, the sake has been tasting particularly sweet lately. No surprise there. Things have been much calmer without Kamashita. Those were some real dark times for Shujin, though, right? But now that he's gone, you really you finally get the chance you deserve, Rimauchi. Don't flatter me. He had his strengths, sure, but because of him, our volleyball team will be forever scarred. The only real option now is to abandon it completely. There has to be a way to bring Shujin back into a limelight, though. That's where I come in. You mean with the track team, right? The students who went through so much hardship under Kamashita rise again with a caring new advisor. It'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. Despite my lack of track and field knowledge, I'll form a tight bond with the students. I'll be the protagonist of my very own tearjerker. And of course, all the praise for reviving them will go to me, their incredible, loving advisor. I'll have to hire a great coach if I want to pull this off, though. So you're gonna pretend to coach them while someone else does all the legwork? Amazing, Yamauchi! Such stunning achievements will look great when it's time to hand out bonuses. But I'm not gonna stop there either. I'll publish books, give emo motivational speeches. What about all the troublemakers on the team? I've heard that Nakaoka's kid is especially bad. Nakaoka? Oh, you mean the one who uh, asked them to bring the pre Kamashita coach back? Don't worry. I've already taken care of him. There's this other boy on the team, Takeishi. Doesn't really excel in much of anything. Well, I said I could I would make him the new captain if he would if he could get rid of that troublemaker Nakaoka. I might have mentioned something about how Nakaoka was working with Kamashita too. Subtly, of course. And what hap what ended up happening? 
apparently Takaishi chased him away. The plan worked perfectly. And the best part is, not only are Takaishi's parents loaded, but his mother's the president of the PTA. I see, he'd make a great pawn. Perhaps, but a nothing but a nothing like him could never captain a successful championship winning team. He may have to have an unfortunate accident at practice one day, but until then, he can sh show the others the value of obedience. <laughs> You're incredible. Damn it! F an asshole. If we don't do anything, if we don't do something quick, Yamauchi is gonna get rid of Takeishi too. God damn it! Talk to Takeshi. Yeah, this ain't our problem. It's the track teams. So they're just gonna have to decide on their own. Hey, you know, track isn't a ain't a team sport. At least sprinting wasn't. You've got teammates, sure, but you're really just looking out for your own time. That's why I never thought about asking people for help or trying to solve our problems together. And again. But I can't ignore the stuff they're going through now. I mean, even though we had our goals and shit, we were still running together. They suffered with me, gritted their teeth with me. Honestly, I think it was only because of them I was able to run at all. <laughs> so I can't just go and turn my back on them now, right? I know that ain't the coolest thing to say, but it's how I feel. I think it's cool, Ryuji. E yeah. Oh. For real? Thanks, man. I'm starving. Let's eat some ammonia before while we're here. So far, all I've seen of this place is the goddamn toilet. <laughs> Good work today, man. And thanks for uh, sticking around so late. But God damn it, Yamauchi, that dick, just. Thinking about him pisses me off. At this rate, the track team's screwed. Yamauchi's just gonna take advantage of him. But I also don't want to make a huge scene. I can't let myself mess up their chance to start the team again. Besides, I doubt those guys are gonna listen to anything I say. Well, you'll never know until you try. That's true. I have faith in them. Anyhow, at least we know the truth about him. We just gotta figure out our next move. That bastard Jimauchi's munching on Monya like he's got all of us figured out. He won't get away with this. In any case, thanks again for our help today. You seriously saved me. Bye. Search real quick. How do 
do I get it? Oh, it's in Shinuku. Damn it. Alright. Well, at least... And I don't have money to get it. Oh, yes. Yep, oh, this is it. Hey, you better not have forgotten about the. Okay, yeah, sorry. Enjoy. This is why I hate rainy season. <laughs> why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't even have enough the end. Why why am I doing this? Oh, it feels so humid. Let's see, is this the yeah books? What do you want? Yep. Yep. It's you. I should have known. Oh, right. Uh, hold on. Hold that thought. Like to read the compendium. Time for nope, finish. Print. I'll take care of them. You want to release it? Looks a little stronger. You want to let it out? Dodge fire. That's pretty handy. Uh, I already have Garminia, which is better than Man Karen. Although, yeah, when am I gonna? Use them? Who's it gonna be? Um, I'm planning Are you to finished? go into what? the house in the next couple no of days. No slacking off. Probably in like three days. Probably on Sunday. Do I have anything to sell? <laughs> Cause I am so I, I, I have never been more poor. <laughs> All right. You should be grateful. Um, so, I think I can get rid of this one. I guess that's fine. Again. Um. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go hang out with. Okay. Let's go hang out with you. 
this game. Please hear me out. Reginald, this is the clear form of my draft earlier. I would like your honest opinion, if you don't mind. It's enigmatic. Yes. As it should be. I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. Of others' comprehension. Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos for it. I have grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. Reginald, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. Bro, I can't wait, bro. Indeed. I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. Without my sincerest gratitude. Anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition, but for now I shall I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. See you. I want to thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was even able to come up with a new interpretation thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. I shall keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. You're already doing enough. No, I can guide us to even further greatness. <laughs> Your very presence amplifies my ambition. What a strange fellow you are. I can hardly wait to hear back about the public exhibition, so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again later. Expect good news. Ah, you're back. Hey, you see the article? Uh, nope. It's an interview with some kid from school. Boy M tells all. Rampant abuse in the Kamashita case. That's what it said. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You say this boy M is Mishima? Could be Makoto. Oh, Makoto's an M too. So is... So it's Miss President, huh? Wait, it was boy. It, it's gotta be a dude. Wait. Oh, I'm done. Okay. Plus, Miss President would never agree to a tabloid interview. He's probably fine. It's probably fine to leave him be. He ain't doing us any harm. 
See you later. That article. Do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? Just as I thought. The author is listed as Ichiko Oya. I see. This article might end up being useful for us. True. If the palace ruler sees it, and his cognition of the Phantom Thieves changes... Hey, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. We have her paint us in a positive light. Public opinion of us will change for the better. You should go try and get her to write some more articles about the Phantom Thieves. something. Where's my glass? Didn't I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is it? Ah, who cares? Wait, I care. Mm. Now then. <sighs> hey, Lalachan. Are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe... You're just no, falling in no. love with me, hmm? I have Phantom Thieves news. For real? You came all this way just to tell me? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important? is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? I'll let you know later. Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kaneshiro, right? The office has been a buzz lately. I think it's Kaneshiro related. Something's fishy. I support them. Support the Phantom Thieves? But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Huh. Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves. And I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? I'll write something good. I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. Gross. 
I'm really hoping that the further you get to into a confidant, it the better it gets. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? Why does it have to be an inside man? Hmm? I am it's with the birth it's of the devil persona. I the have devil obtained persona. the wind. All right. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala Chan. Time to celebrate our agreement. Bring out my bottle. And two glasses, please. Oh, come on, please. Whoa. Her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh. I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. No. My charm did not increase. No. No. You take care now. You be careful on your way home. Don't stick around Shinyuku too long after dark, honey. We get a lot of shady types coming around of the woodwork. Hey, Lalachan! Lalachan, where'd you go? Hey, Lalachan, come on, where you are you? Honestly, that lady is going to be the death of me. You'd better head home. If she catches you, you're in for an all-nighter. Thanks. Oh, that's adorable. Feels like gratitude's hard to come by these days. <laughs> you're gonna be a real heartbreaker in a few years. Oh, I'm just teasing you. Now go on home before some degenerate in a gutter spits on you or something. Well, I better get back inside. Come again. You always be welcome here, but head straight home tonight, okay? Gross. Gross. My whole the the, the storyline itself is gross. Morning. What up? What are we doing today? Think about it. Hey. Okay. Um. Think. Oh, welcome. Here, yeah. So I talked to Shiho about what happened with Mika back at the sh photo shoot, and you know what she did? Laughed. She couldn't stop talking about how tough she thought Mika sounded. Honestly though, it was kind of refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. I guess you really just need someone to laugh at you if you want to feel better. Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, they always say laughter is the best medicine, right? I've seen the truth of that saying firsthand. But anyway, even though I'm trying to strengthen my heart, Shiho's the strong one here. Hey. I went to one of her rehab stations, the re rehab sessions the other day. She said she wanted me to be there. 
So I agreed without thinking much of it, but it ended up being pretty overwhelming. How so? It was a lot tougher than I'd ever imagined. It was horrible. She was dripping with sweat, teeth clenched. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Apparently, she can't even move her feet. She said it feels like her legs are filled with sand. But she dragged them along, legs swollen with blood. I wanted to just make her stop. By the time it was all over, she was in tears. It was really tough on her. She said she wanted to give up. And that's why she asked me to come. To keep her motivated. The whole time she was complaining about things in ways she normally never would. But even with that, she finished her sh first session. I, I don't know why I'm crying. I didn't have to go through that. Is it because I'm weak? Because you're kind. You're wrong. You know, even through all that pain, I thought Shiho was so cool, beautiful even. Despite all her complaining, she still tried incredibly hard. Strength is more than just not getting phased. It's the power of fight through adver adversity. <sighs> So, I was thinking, and um, what can I do to help Shifo? Say, show her your strength. My strength? Yeah. yeah, I'll do just that. I'm gonna give it my all. You know, Reginald, being with you really helps me see things clearly. What I should do, the true meaning of strength. Thanks. Thank you for that. All right. <sighs> Nose is all runny. What? Are you looking at me? What are you looking at me for? Pretty girls get runny noses too, you know. me. Uh, thank, thanks for earlier. I feel better now that I got to talk to you about everything. I'm going to try my best to help Shiho out in my own way. Maybe our relationship won't e ever be exactly the way it was before, but now that I saw her crying, I know I'll find something I can do for her. I'll cheer you on. Thanks. I can't let her leave me behind. Watch me. One day I'll be cool and strong, just like Shiho. I feel great now that I got everything off my chest. You're such a great listener, Reginald. Hope I can keep counting on you on that. Okay, bye. Rain, huh? Alright, how much money do I have? Because... Oh! do have it up. Hey. And I have okay, so I have that. Oh. Hold on. Ugh. Hold on. Hold on. I need to sell more stuff. Sacramental B. You should be great. 
guess that's fine. I, I will always have on in my party, so I don't think I will need this. I'll, I'll keep a couple. You should be grateful. That's fine. You should be grateful. Okay. Come yeah, again. We, we have money now. <laughs> All right. We are going back to the, the red light district so that we can buy out books. I forgot about this bookstore. Take your time. And like, you know, I had, I had my own notes on craft of cinema, and uh, nope, just nope. All right, um, we'll, we'll get a couple. Thanks more. for dropping by. Mega like fertilizers. Let's do four. to my story the other day you listened to my secret I've been feeling more at ease since then I've never been able to tell anyone about it so I figured I should actually do some housekeeping today to say thanks sorry I need to take a break want to rest a bit I'm so touched to hear that you care for my well-being, Master. Ugh, I'm at my limit. So exhausted. Uh, Kiff cough. Uh, I'm being... I can't stop coughing. You alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Kiff cough. Just kidding, I just wanted to slack off a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you, so the truth comes out, you know? Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one who found out about me being a maid. Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? And have you been eating well? You need to eat vegetables, and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. Ugh. I mean, I guess I should get some more sleep. I feel all achy. Takase-kun's guardians said they need more money, so I had my boss give me more shifts. I had to beg him for him. But don't overdo it. Oh, it's fine. Nothing you should b worry about. Besides, I, I'm, uh... I feel more at ease now that I have someone who knows about what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. All right. Uh-oh, time's up. Give cough. I have to get to my next job, so I'm going to head out. I'll see you later then. Hmm. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. So I guess it's a good thing I splurged at the doctor's. I finally got some cough medicine that works. Hey, you gotta do some cleaning and ventilating on your own, even when I'm gone, okay? 
you neglect stuff like that, it makes you more likely to get sick. How are you feeling, though? Who, me? I mean, I'm tired, but that's nothing new. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be talking about... We're supposed to be talking about you. Don't change the subject. Oh, but if you do get sick, I'll look after you any time. So please don't forget to request me. Ugh, I finally got rid of the cough and now I get these headaches and shivers. Times like these are why we invented energy drinks. Just gotta chug one and push through. Okay, see you later. to dally for much longer at this point. Is Kanashiro still demanding we pay up? Yes, every single day. Man, it's gonna be tough dealing with that daily. I'm used to it by now. You are? You're amazing. So far, it's only been emails, so it hasn't been too difficult to put the matter out of my mind. Who knows when we may resort to more extreme measures, though. Tell us if anything happens. Yeah, if we if he uh, sends out that photo, we're totally done for. It would probably be a good idea to handle this sooner rather than later. Hey. Okay. Eureka. What's the deal? Curious, huh? Well, I've come up with a super cool idea. Lady Anne will surely swoon for me if I... Sorry for the wait. So, what's up, Morgana? Uh, supposedly you'll swoon. From what? Well... It's something I've been giving a lot of thought lately. Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good for us to work on our finishers. Our finishers? Yeah. I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Right, right? So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet. And we can definitely pull it off if you play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our Lady On. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... And that should do the trick. Really? So is that a no? Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sort of impossible? Even in the metaverse? Huh? What was that? Star Jose gave to us started glimmering. Could it have reacted to something? What's up? I never imagined that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a Phantom Thief? Like, about the Metaverse, for example? Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cognition. There. Yep. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there. But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. Yep. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and... It That's not what I mean. It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? 
I... Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Do you know anything about it? Uh, well, there's a long-nosed man. What? I want to tell her the truth, but it's tough to explain that Igor has been sending me out the app. Sending out the app. I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... I could only imagine what would happen then. Come on, just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. Oh, great. Oh, great. Bye. Huh? Alright, that's it for today. Oh, are you going home already? If you have some time, why don't you stay in and enjoy an apple? It's a gift from one of my elderly patients. She gave me a lot. Hello, Dr. Takami. Chief Oyamada. There was a medical conference nearby, so I thought I'd check up on you. Who's this? He doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part-time staffer. I'm having him handle some miscellaneous tasks for me. So, do you have any... Do you have some business with me? I hear you stole one of my patients. A girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now there's talk about the care of a university hospital is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Original medicine? Ha! What you're doing here is simply absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you had just run away out here in this little town. This is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. She's a great doctor. What did you say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You seem to be, a, to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. She's a monster who tortured a patient with her unregulated medicine. Terrible, isn't it? She was such a brave girl, always smiling. What does this mean? Was she passed away? <laughs> Perhaps you'll suffer the same fate, hmm? She is the plague after all. <sighs> Don't lie to me. She she should still have some time. She was slowly recovering. Her condition couldn't have deteriorated that quickly. But it did. You must have misjudged. Now back to the reason why I'm here. Don't ever take another patient away from me again. You don't want, you don't want to make me angry. You are chance dead? No. No, no, no. The, the, she's all I've been working toward all this time. Curing her was my only... There's no way. 
Ask for details. <laughs> what have I been doing all this time? What is... What was even the point? I can't... Just press for today. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I feel better now. Thanks for your help. My... <laughs> I wish I hadn't shown you that side of me. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> you are? Well, I suppose that's fine, as long as it's you. Go on home for today. We will continue this another time. Take care. to the palace. Good enough.